Hello everyone. So this is Bhupesh again. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll be uh, doing a, a new topic: how to create a EKS cluster on Amazon Cloud. Because sometimes we need to do um, create bulky clusters on Amazon or Azure Cloud. But how to do it? You know, step by step process. So let's do it uh, with practical implementation. So we'll be creating a single load a Kubernetes cluster on Amazon Cloud. And uh, and we'll be connecting to that cluster and we'll be executing the pods, certain you know dummy pods. Now, if you have not watched my earlier video, how to create Amazon Cloud free tier account, you can simply go and watch it. But yeah, let's quickly get started on this piece. Okay, so I've created a small GitHub documentation also for this. So I'll follow this documentation. There are roughly three four steps by which we can create a EKS cluster on Amazon Cloud. So we'll be uh, logging to our console so this is my console i've already logged in you can see and once you log in you can also log in you know why this if you so you can log in like this right and then you can simply click on sign in console we land up on this home page and if these icons are not coming for you, you can simply search the eks from here right and then you can land up on this page so I'll be creating, uh, so this cluster is already there, but I'll be creating a new cluster for demo purpose. So I'll give a unique name, EKS demo, right? Now this demo is the latest version of Kubernetes, actually let's keep it. I'll, uh, I'll not create a new role, but I'll tell you how to create a new role. You need to simply click on this, creating a user role, and then, uh, Basically, this role will be help will be accessing your cluster and will be creating pods and all the services. So all these things are documented here. So you can simply follow this documentation blindly. So you need to give the name and then create a cluster cluster role. So yeah, click on roles, create role, click on AWS service. So all these things are kept properly mentioned here, and then we'll come down and we'll select EKS from here. And then EKS cluster. See all these things are mentioned here properly. And then we'll click on next. And on the add permission, you will click on next. Give a proper name. Suppose I just give this name. I'll give a demo role first. Okay. Keep going, just create a role. Now this demo role will be created. And we'll be using this demo role for creating cluster. So now I'll again come back to my cluster page. I'll refresh this. Now demo role would be available. See, I'll select the demo role. Click next. Now specify the networking. So networking, we don't need to do anything and see whatever is coming. Select as default. I don't don't want to create a VPC because it is an Amazon managed cluster. So we are not creating VPCs and subnets for now. It is already managed uh, by by amazon so i'll select all the default options i'm not enabling any logging otherwise it will add to my bill so the logging is turned off click on next so these are all default uh, things i need to make it you know uh, just selected by default like code dns amazon vpc include proxy so yeah simply select all these default default things and then click next and finally, I don't think we need to do anything extra. My you need to do a review and create. So the moment you click this create the cluster, the uh, the raw cluster will get created. So this will take some time. So I'm not going to hit create it right now. So there's already a cluster created uh, for demo purpose. I'm just using it. But these are the steps to creating a cluster. So this is the cluster that I created some time back. So I simply click on this. The moment you hit create, the cluster will get created. Will get created. Now the the cluster is created, but we need to attach the node group. Now what is a node group? Node group is something uh, that you know cluster will be forming or doing workload. So basically, currently we have just created a I would say control plane 
the worker nodes are still pending and worker nodes will act as a playground for creating pods and an application so we'll need to do that add of node group and the the documentation and steps are properly mentioned here so I need, i'll click on that cluster which is being created i'll come here at the compute side and then i'll click add node group now we'll give a proper name for that node group suppose node group one now we need to create a node i am role also suppose i want to create a brand new role so i can click go to this i am console right and click on this role i'll create a role same process but in the case in this case it would be for ec2 instance because we need to create a role for ec2 because ultimately we are spinning up ec2 instances that will be attached to our clusters ec2 all these steps are mentioned here so yeah choose ec2 and then click next now there are certain uh, you know policies that i need to attach to this uh, role like i'll just do amazon worker node policy i need to select this and then connect it to ect container registry so like this check this basically the three policies you need to set that the cni policy network policy basically. and then this that's it so only three and then click next give a proper role suppose demo node role okay node group basically right and then create role so this role get will get created and then we need to select this role uh, into our creating of node group now this role has been created i'll again come back to my this node group i'll do a filtration uh, the refresh and i can see this demo node group role is there fine so i'll click next i need to set the compute and scaling configuration now this is very very important now on this uh, i'm just selecting a minimum uh, since it is a demo i will set the smallest you know virtual machine or over you know smallest linux ec2 instance i'll be selecting the one cpu and i'm, I'm selecting um, 2 gb or maybe you can say 5 gb now i need minimum node as one i mean desired can be one minimum so how it works desired can be two minimum can be one and maximum can be five right but in the demo case i let me go by one 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 everywhere so that so one node cluster would be spinned up and then simply i'll click on next networking you don't need to do anything everything is auto selected the subnet will be auto selected this it is aws managed cluster click next and then finally you need to hit this create now the, the, the moment you hit create it will create a node group and attach to the cluster so i'm not going to hit this create and just show you the already created clusters the moment you click uh, this create the node group will attach to your cluster now the cluster is created and there's a node group attached to it so this is my cluster and if i come to compute my already have a node group this is my node group and i have one node single node machine which is t2 small it's created 22 minutes ago yeah now the cluster is created it is up and running i can see active now the next thing is very very important thing how to connect to cl this cluster so there's a proper documentation that i have created for you you need to come here connect to the cluster now if you don't have a aws cli installed on your ubuntu machine or, or your linux machine you need to run the set of commands and then uh, aws cli will be installed in our case in my case you know i have only have aws cli what i'll do i'll just do a clear screen aws cli is there okay so so i will just skip these three steps now this is a very very important step i need to configure my you know machine so that i can connect to that eks cluster which i created some time back so i need to run these set of commands but before running these set of commands i need to create my access token and uh, uh, secret access secret so how i how, how i can do that i need to come here and then i need to 
come on the I am right and then since I am the admin of this account I need to just somewhere I can create secret second ah you need to come to this some high security credentials sometimes I even I also forget so come here scroll down you need to create this access key I created the access key some time back but I can create a new access key right the moment I hit this create access key you will see something like this the access key and the secret password so you need to copy paste these things and secure it somewhere because you will be configuring your account with this access key and secret key okay I'm not revealing this I'm just doing it done okay fine so you can see this new secret key id and you know password has been uh, created now what i'll do i'll just simply run this command aws configure. Now what this will do it will configure your ubuntu box with the key now you need to enter that access key suppose you enter that access key now you need to enter that secret key you enter that copy paste thing from a notepad to here now you need to give this region what is this region where your cluster is got created so i'll come here to understand my cluster region so you can simply your select your nearest availability zone so i've selected this mumbai ap south one and then come here you can you can also verify your cluster region from here see region equal to ap south one you can simply copy this select this enter enter okay now the configuration is done i'll just check what is the id with which it's being logged on i'll just do a get caller identity it will give me my account id and uh, user id right now i'll just simply uh, change my context to this cluster this is the command which i need to run so region and the name of the cluster you need to change this command the rest of the things will remain same so now my context has been changed to this now i'll just see what are the available cluster that oh, okay fine so i have one cluster called as min mini cube cluster and the cluster is aws this first cluster that i created just now perfect now i can do some dummy testing how many nodes are in there in this one cluster in this cluster this is one node okay with this 1.27 version how many namespace are there in this all the default names that i can create namespace called as matrixes right i can switch to that matrix namespace correct now do we have any ports in this no there's no port so let me create a dummy port and make sure that uh, this is running that was our final testing the moment the port is running i can say my i'm able to run applications on this cluster so i'll just do a kgp it'll get port my board is running and it is running on metrics namespace yeah now i'll just key get ns i'll just delete that namespace perfect so yeah this was a quick uh, you know session on how to create a eks cluster one node cluster and then create certain pods so that we are able to understand how it works and you know how we can you know create certain applications on this eks clusters so i'll not take much time maybe we can wrap up this quick session and you can simply follow this uh, github documentation that i've created it for creating your first eks cluster and you can you know create for any number of nodes so if you're not subscribed to my channel you can simply subscribe the channel by subscribing uh, the link here so, so that you can get more videos on devops related technologies thanks for now stay tuned we'll see you later thank you bye bye